I will say this. I hope my friends do the same for me. That is the kind <laughs> of spirit I can get behind. Drew Barrymore wants to carry on an eccentric family legacy when she finally passes on. The Santa Clarita Diet actress had a fun interview on Hot Ones this week, during which she addressed a legend about her famous family dating back nearly 80 years. Drew's grandfather was the theater icon John Barrymore, and a very interesting story emerged after his death. Is it true that your grandfather's body was stolen from the morgue by W.C. Fields, Errol Flynn, and Sadakachi Hartman so that they could prop him up against a poker table and throw one last party with the guy? Drew confirmed that it actually did happen and revealed it inspired some movies you've probably heard of. Not only yes, uh, but there have been like cinematic interpretations of that. Um, a Blake Edwards film called SOB that's just brilliant and fun to watch no matter what. And then I've heard things about Weekend at Bernie's. I can't know ever if that's even true. Having a poker party with a corpse is more than a bit unusual. But Drew said she wants to follow in her grandfather's footsteps and have one last postmortem party with her pals. I hope my friends do the same for me. That is the kind <laughs> of spirit I can get behind. Just prop the old bag up. Let's have a few last rounds. If everybody could be really happy and celebratory and have a party, that would be my preference. Drew has lots of acting legends in her family tree and she got her own start in the spotlight as a kid, allowing her to meet lots of A-listers very early in life. When she was a young girl, she got to present an E.T. doll to none other than Princess Diana and was definitely left starstruck. For a seven-year-old little girl to be meeting not only a princess, but Princess Diana, it's like living in a fantasy. As a child star, Drew was interviewed on lots of talk shows, and now she's developing her own, which will air on CBS this fall. For her first interview ahead of the show's big debut, she spoke to former All That stars Keenan and Kel, who have their own history of fame at a young age. And as she told Hot Ones' is Sean Evans, she has major respect for people like them, who have found a path forward after getting recognition so young. Anyone who can figure out how to navigate it, no matter what that journey looks like, if at some point they grow into themselves and there is any form of grace there, it's, it's a big kudos 